Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to bring you the latest updates on geopolitics and Indian defense news. In today's episode, we will cover the delivery timeline of stealth frigates from Russia, the Indian Central Asia Rare Earth Collaboration, External Affairs Minister Jay Shankar's focus on terrorism at the SCO, the India's visit to Morocco, India's new tax policy for aircraft parts, and the French Air Force mission including a stop in the Philippines. So let's begin. After a series of delays, two stealth frigates under construction in Russia for the Indian Navy are set to be delivered soon. The first ship Toshil is ready for acceptance and is scheduled to be delivered by September 2024. The second ship Tamil is expected to be delivered by February 2025. These delays were caused by COVID-19, the war in Ukraine, and the Western sanctions. Construction at Goa Shipyard Limited is also progressing, with the first local manufactured ship expected to be launched soon. Now moving on to the next news, during the second India Central Asia NSA's meeting, India proposed creating an Indian Central Asia Rare Earth Forum. This initiative aims to strengthen collaboration in the rare earth and strategic mineral sectors, promoting partnerships founded on mutual benefits, transparency, and long-term objectives. Central Asia is rich in critical minerals, and this collaboration could drive the economic growth, industrial expansion, and job creation while enhancing energy security and sustainability. On the diplomatic front, External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar emphasized the fight against terrorism, separatism, and extremism as priorities for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization during an interview in Kazakhstan. He highlighted the need for comprehensive measures against terrorism, including addressing facilitators, financiers, and sponsors of terrorism. J. Shankar also mentioned the importance of regional anti-terrorist structures and the establishment of an anti-drug center in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. Now moving on to the next news, Indian naval ship Tabar concluded a significant port call at Casablanca, Morocco, marking a pivotal moment in Indo-Moroccan naval relations. The visit aimed to foster deeper diplomatic ties and included activities like cross-deck visits, yoga sessions, and friendly volleyball match. This visit underscores India's commitment to enhancing its partnership with Morocco and reflects India's broader geopolitical strategy in Africa. Now on to the next news, India has implemented a uniform 5% tax rate for all imports of aircraft components and aircraft engine parts, simplifying the tax structure and fostering growth in the maintenance, repair and overhaul. MRO sector. This move is expected to boost local MRO businesses and position India as a global aviation hub. The Indian MRO industry is projected to become a 4 billion industry by 2030. Now on to our last news, a French Air Force mission touring the Indo-Pacific region will include the Philippines for the first time. This visit is a part of Pegasus 24 mission which showcase air power projection and commitment to freedom of navigation. The French Air and Space Force will fly in two Rafale multi-role fighters, an A400M tactical lift aircraft and an A330 aerial refueling and military transport aircraft. Bilateral activities are planned to enhance air-to-air -air cooperation between France and the Philippines. This mission underscores France's strategy to force closer defense ties with Manila. That's all for today's update on Indian Defense News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more updates on geopolitics and defense. Let us know in the comments which story you found most interesting and thanks for watching. See you next time. Jai Hind!